Well, hello there, and welcome to the beautiful Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. The Griffith Observatory opened its doors in 1935, and it has welcomed over 85 million visitors since. It is, in fact, the most visited public astronomical facility in the world, and one of the first institutions in the United States devoted to science that was also open to the public. It's a very cool place. It has a wonderful planetarium inside. There are wonderful exhibits. There's a telescope you can look through in the evenings. I absolutely love it. And what's also really cool about the observatory is that they have a great scholar as their director. So the director of the Griffith Observatory is Dr. E. C. Krupp, and is he and he is a world expert on the study of the history of astronomy. And in particular, how ancient cultures approached the study of the heavens. So I have two books of his with me. The first one is Echoes of the Ancient Skies by Dr. Krupp. And Sky Watchers, Machines, and Kings. So he's actually written quite a few books. We have quite a number of them. And they are really, really incredible. So Dr. Krupp has literally visited over 1,300 ancient astronomical sites all over the world. And he has covered pretty much every ancient culture there is. So ranging from the ancient Egyptians to the Babylonians to the Hopi and the Zunu here in North America to the Inca and the Maya and the Aztecs to the ancient Indians, the ancient Chinese, the ancient uh, people of Great Britain, obviously the people who built Stonehenge very famously, the people of Africa, and their wonderful astronomical sites. And it turns out that the ancient peoples of the world had very sophisticated knowledge of the heavens. They took very detailed measurements and an incredible, to an incredible degree, they ordered their cities, their temples, their houses according to the movements of the planets, the sun, the constellations, the stars. It's really amazing. So Dr. Krupp documents all this, and it's a wonderful work. These are wonderful works of history and also of archaeology, and even to me, compared to mythology. I mean, to me, he's up there with Joseph Campbell and Sir James Frazier and other greats in terms of studying ancient mythology, ancient astronomical knowledge, uh, ancient archaeology, the layouts of where people lived, and using it all to explain how they understood time and how they ordered their lives. So they didn't have, you know, smartphones and watches and, and desk calendars. They looked up at the heavens when they wanted to know what time it was, when they wanted to know what the season was to plant or to reap the harvest, when they wanted to know when they should hold their sacred festivals, when they should approach the gods. They would, you know, they would, they would pick the appropriate time when the, the planet associated with that god would be up in the heavens or the star associated with that god. So it's very amazing stuff. I love these books. They're amongst my favorites ever. I highly recommend you. And when you get the chance, I highly recommend you come to the beautiful Observatory. Oh, no.